there, I'm Holly Hucklesby and I'm the illustrator and Photoshop teacher here at Nicole's Classes. I have just finished recording my new Photoshop 102 course and I wanted to show you a really fantastic feature within it and it's called Content Aware Scale. So I'm going to show you how it works right now. Basically I've got this image of myself and my friend Lizzie and I want to expand the background so that we're not too cropped in. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a crop tool in our tool palette and I'm just going to click and drag out the image. I'm going to press return and then if I go up to firstly edit content aware scale and stretch it out can you see that I'm being stretched as well and so is Lizzie. So we obviously don't want that so we want to make sure and ensure that we can um, protect the pixels. So what I'm going to do first is edit in uh, quick mask mode which basically means I'm selecting uh, my quick mask mode, it's bottom left of the toolbar. I'm then selecting a brush and I'm really quickly, really quickly just painting over and you can see that this red appears and that basically means that I'm selecting this image using this brush and it's going to be created into a mask. So I'm just clicking and dragging around here, around the image, really quick. Okay. And then, oh, if I hit X, I can rub the mask out. Can you see I went a little bit too far there? And then if I just click the edit quick mask mode button again, you can see that the outside of the image is selected. So we may have to make sure that we inverse the selection, which is command shift I. So you can see now just me and Lizzie are selected in this shot. Then what I want to do is make an alpha channel out of that. Well, that might sound a bit complicated, but it really isn't. If you go up to window, channels and then in the channels dialog box we've obviously got red green blue which is all the colors that make up this image and what i want to create is another channel so i select this button here save selection as a channel i rename that channel and then i just turn that off with uh, the eyedropper and then command d to deselect it so now all i need to do is go back up to edit oh hang on a sec I have to make sure that I'm on the RGB layer. Edit Content Aware Scale. And up here we have um, all the Content Aware Scale options. And here where it says Protect, I want to select the channel that I've just created, Liz and I. I'm then going to uh, tick this little man, which means it's going to protect the skin tones as well of an image, which will help. Now, once I click and drag this image, you can see that only the background is affected by Content Aware Scale and not us. It's a really, really fantastic tool. And you can see how quickly and easily you can use it. So that's Content Aware Scale in Photoshop.